Okay, I'm here at Temple Square in Salt Lake City, and I'm meeting a friend, and I'm just going to go around and do some tours today, and so I thought that I would go ahead and do a video blog, just a few different interesting things that are in Salt Lake, what brings people here, and some of the sites that people come to see. If you look right across the street, you can see the cranes working on the big mall that's going to be right there. And then right here is Temple Square. It was right behind me the whole time. The Joseph Smith Memorial Building, but just wanted to use this as an introduction, so here we go. The assembly hall is off limits, folks. They have torn up the concrete. They're doing something with it. And I wondered why they hadn't filled the water up on the Siegel Monument. If any of you know, when the pioneers settled in the Utah Valley, the Salt Lake Valley, they planted their crops and a bunch of locusts plagued them. It was almost like something right out of the Bible. And they were eating all their crops and it was just ridiculous, crazy. And so these seagulls actually, I guess the pioneers prayed or whatever, and the seagulls came down, ate all of the locusts, and the people actually lived through the winter because they were able to get enough crops. And so the state bird of Utah is the seagull, and they really appreciate that bird. But this is a little bit of Temple Square. The flowers are beautiful. They have full-time gardeners that take care of these things. And here's some construction going on over here. And it's a big mess, but it's really neat to see. So just to get an idea of how well these people take care of their trees, you can see they've got an entire crew roped to a tree and they're trimming it, just just like pruning it and taking care of it, making sure it looks nice and everything. But they really go above and beyond to make this place look nice. So you can see that. They are really going to it. And it's hot out. Oh, but it's warm. There's the temple and there's the tabernacle. It's really bright. The roof is. I don't know. The conference center's down there, but we'll get to that tour shortly. It's very pretty, pretty out today, so got a lot to look forward to just oh my gosh it's Catherine Kingsford what are you doing Standing here. What, are you, what are you doing here at the temple in Salt Lake City I have no idea are you enjoying yourself is it fun sure it's hot yeah, but it's nice. But we're not going in. It was a joke. <laughs> how are you today? Fine. How are you? I'm good. So do you like this building? I do. I love it. How about yourself? I love it. It's very pretty. <laughs> took 40 years to build. That's a long time. It is. And, uh, I wonder if they were ever nervous when they were all the way up there. If they thought, I hope I don't fall, or something like that. <laughs> there were actually a few deaths when they were building this, wasn't there? Okay, well this is very nice. We're going to go do some more sightseeing around here. Are you from the area? I am, actually. I live just 10 blocks east, so huh? really close. So this is the building, the small, it looks like an awning almost, it's the small building that they built on because there were so many people that were wanting to get married here that they didn't even have enough room. And what I think is really neat about these trees, and I think that they tried to do it this way, is that it looks a lot like the trees in uh, Israel or Jerusalem where the Garden of Gethsemane. And I'm not sure if these are exactly those kinds of trees, but I think they wanted it to look like that. That's what I think I'd heard once. And under here, they've actually got an underground tunnel. And this building is where it's like the entrance. If you're going to do temple work here, if you're a member of their church, you go in here and you go through an opening kind of thing, and then you... It's just like a hallway. And you go right in here, and then you... You do what you have to do with all the work that's there. And these lawns are so beautiful. And I mentioned this in an earlier video, Catherine, that they have all kinds of people out here, like almost full-time staffed. It's a job. It's employment. You, you get paid to do it. And they, they garden. They take care of the gardens and they, the flowers and the grass and everything. 
And this is so neat because this is one of the few times I've been here where there's actually not many people here. And if you're watching this, Sarah Waters, you're gonna you're gonna be here someday and you'll like it. I know you probably are because whenever I do videos of temple grounds or church stuff, you're normally watching. So this is partially dedicated to you and your curiosity. I'm sorry you didn't get to see the Washington DC temple when you were in DC. It's really beautiful. So let's go up close to these doors and just look at the door knobs. I think you might find it interesting. We're not going to go in because that's not allowed at this point anyway. So there's the doorknob and it says holiness to the Lord. And these people actually made these doorknobs. They didn't just like manufacture them in a factory. They handcrafted them the same way with the doors. All of the stone, they took chisels and picks and they chiseled it down a certain way and there's this neat, it's like a metallic, probably just copper or something and it, it's just so neat. And there's the tabernacle over here where they used to have general conference before the conference center was built and you can see the conference spire a little bit over there. Here's a bench if you're old and you get tired and you have to... Then, oh yeah, they've... It's, it, it was built for acoustics to where like you could hear almost everything that happens or is said. They actually had it set up. Th they'll show you in the presentation, they drop a pin up at the front and you can hear the pin drop all the way in the back because of the domed ceiling and the acoustics. Like what I'm saying now could probably be heard by the people up on stage. And then the seats that are here, I think the ones in the very front, some of the seats are actually the original ones, but these are not, these are oak and they had painted the seats that they originally built to look like oak because there was no wood when they came here to the valley and they just redid this building a few years ago and with it they tore all the paint off of those pillars that are holding up the upper levels and there were all kinds of layers of paint almost every color you could imagine and so it's really neat the seats up there and the organ. I think it's the largest, this is the largest organ in the state of Utah. It's, it's actually larger than the one in the conference center. The one in the conference center can do a lot more because it's updated and everything, but the, the organ in here is really large. It's, uh, I don't remember how many pipes, but it's pretty amazing. And so that is our official tabernacle tour, and hopefully you enjoyed it. We're going to go over to the conference center next. Okay. We're going to go to the conference center next and see what's there. Turn off. The conference center of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And this water is coming from the roof, which you'll see in a little bit, as it's, it's a big garden up there. It's really neat. And so, this is a beautiful building. This little bridge you can walk across right here. And Temple Square is right across the street. And we're going to go up and see some of the some of the building. I'm sorry if the camera is a little too shaky. I'm walking upstairs, as you can see. And if you look at some of my photos on Facebook, you'll notice that a lot of them are of this building, and there's huge crowds out here. There's almost like there's a celebrity concert inside. But for those of you who know what's really going on in April and in October, conference. General Conference is taking place where over 13 million people in the world are watching on satellite or in the building as the president of this church, who is claimed to be a prophet, speaks to the people, gives them modern day revelation and tells them to be nice to other people. And if you, oh, I've got to get this. If you see this building off in the distance right here, right there, that building, the tallest one you can see, there's a green ring of windows and I don't think you can see it on here but that green over the windows it's a shading on one floor that is the prophet's apartment the president of the church Thomas S. Monson is not currently living there his security team cannot get him to leave his house and they're going crazy because they have to guard him with where he's at right now down in the Harvard and Yale areas of Salt Lake the nicer neighborhoods and so that's where Gordon B. Hinckley lived until he passed away this last January 
and he has a nice view of the conference center.